Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. On second down now. It's Brown. Now Brown. Oh, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. So that is now two fumble return touchdowns. And you talk about something that's going to drive a head coach crazy. Without a doubt. But for the defensive guys, once you do it once, you create a frenzy. Everybody wants to get involved, and they got it done a second time. First, I'd rather see him kick the extra point there than to go for two. But it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. Cooper Cup on the return. The Rams take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Rams first down. On first down, it's Brown. And he loses the football a second time. And it's picked up by the Ravens. Pass the 20. 10. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. Touchdown. Fumbles, that's how you get in the coach's doghouse. The first one lost and it hurt. This time you lose it and it's taken in for a score. It really hurt. And about that doghouse, it won't exactly be comfortable and it definitely won't be air conditioned. No bones? None. Successful. That makes the score. Ravens. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the bat flip in baseball. Everyone's got to start to get comfortable with this, but... To me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there. And sometimes has a way of catching up with you. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they weren't on the sidelines for long, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Ravens have got it. On the play. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. And he's going to look that one in one-handed. What a catch for the touchdown. And that was a beautiful ball right there as he waited for his tight end to come uncovered in the end zone to give him points for patience as well. Delivered it right where it needed to be for six points. Now it's Jackson, and he's got it. They add on more, a little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on, but apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like 
something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on him in this game. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. And oh my goodness, he loses it again. And it's picked up by the Ravens. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Looking here for Smith downfield. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Steve Smith, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens capitalize on the fumble and turn it into six. So now, once again, the Ravens will go for two. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 12. at their own 23-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Nice game there, partner, but you and I both know that won't do anything for the final score. They're not going to win this one. Right now, they're playing for pride and fantasy points. <laughs> And just to erase that goose egg, nobody wants to be shut out. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the gun, here's gone. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Goff throwing again. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And able to find Higby, it's complete. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. First down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Now Brown, oh, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. No partner, I think it's safe to say they can mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, I think it epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're st And got his man complete! And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. It's a gain of 35. The big play has him all the way out here midfield for a first and 10. He's going to try and go deep again. That's caught inside the 20. And he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. Ball on the eight, second and two. This is Henry. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Intended for Mike Gusecki. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. They'll give it to him up the middle. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. Nice job there.